What is up all my thrift store junkies? Guys, here on this episode, just so everybody knows, if you are new to this channel, what I do is I go out there thrifting, looking for cool vintage things, and maybe just cool things that are cool in my eyes and maybe in your eyes too, guys. Let's go ahead and get this uh, thrift store adventure started. Guys, hit that like and subscribe button. If you are not subscribed, do that for me now, guys. Let's go ahead and get this started. Buenos dias. That looks That's cool. That's how much. Five for this, let me see. Okay. Let me do that. One more toy in there, huh? That looks cool. Yeah, that looks cool. ¿Cuánto por la chaqueta? Esta en 10. Dos. ¿Qué? 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 Este está en dos también. Uh, digo diez okay. y con esto es uh, otro diez. Puede ser veinte. Okay. ok. Ahí está, oiga. Uh -huh. Muchas gracias. Que tengan buen día. Good morning. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. All right, guys, going into another one. Stopped at that yard so you guys saw it. We ended up getting Metal Gear Solid 4 for PS3 for only a dollar, guys. I mean, like, you can't beat that. So off into another store to see what we can find. This one's cool. Hello. Good, yourself? Uh, okay. This one looks cool. You said a dollar? The... This is nice too. Yeah. Was this all your older stuff? Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah, this is cool. Actually, I was like, hey, what's this box? You wanted me to move a box so she could put something else there. And I'm like, well, what is in this box? I don't know. Like, oh, that's all old, old clothes I took out of the drawers. <laughs> right on. Jackie Chan ones, huh? Yeah, these are cool. VHS's? A uh, dollar. Okay. The clothes are all a dollar. The pins are. Oh, I have this one at home too. That's awesome. Yeah. 
possibly. Can we do a uh, 10 for this pile here? I think I got about like nine and then this here. Let's roll out. Damn, we had to stop and get something to grub, guys. Had to fill up the tank. If you want to keep going, you got to make sure you're eating and staying hydrated. Guys, we're going to another Google real quick. See what we can find in there. Damn, they got those all over Google, dude. I saw the sweet. Yeah, there's a bunch everywhere, like other locations too. 59th Avenue and Camelback, and there's like a stack of those over there too. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, dude. Name's Brian, man. Brian? Yeah. Ian. Nice to meet you, bro. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know. I just got it at thrift. I didn't even take the tag off. Kenworth. It was like two bucks. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Nice meeting you, Brian. Nice meeting you, big guy. The music is loud. Yeah, that's it. What's up, everybody? We are back at the crib here, guys. I appreciate everybody who is still going through this video all the way to the end right here guys i'm gonna do a recap on all the things we ended up finding at these yard sales and goodwills guys and it seems like the battle against yard sale versus goodwill the yard sales always win we found yard sales when we're on our way driving to different goodwills and that was the best thing we did all right guys let's get into it at one of these yard sales i ended up picking up this video game right here metal gear solid 4 easily is gonna bring me in at least 10 to 5 bucks for only a dollar guys all this stuff here for 15 bucks. This started off with these little Air Force Ones, guys. You already know, almost brand new condition, just need a little scrub of dub so you can get a dub out of these. So I'm expecting to get 15 to $20 for these right here. So let's get this money on these. These right here are real Burberry shoes, guys. Oh, like I said, I paid $15 for all of this stuff here. You guys can see the bottom there that it says Burberry. Guys, these are real right here. They just need a really good scrub of dub. Guys, I'm, I'm thinking of selling these at least for $40. Got these super cute True Religion uh, jeans right here, guys. I don't even know what would fit this, like a little doll or something, guys. But these are super sick right here. Guys, they're baby billies, six to 12 months right here, guys. I can easily see myself selling these at least for 30 to 40 bucks. This right here is a Fugazi, like Burberry uh, suit for, for babies. I don't think it's real. I could not find any tags inside or anything identifying that this is real right here. I'm selling this at least for 10 to 15 bucks for this here, this little onesie. Also in, included in that whole $15 deal, I got this real Burberry dress right here, guys. It is a size 14 wide. This Burberry little dress is gonna easily bring in some money, guys. I can see this at least going for 30 to 40 bucks. We're gonna switch it up and talk about Goodwill real quick, guys. We ended up going to Goodwill twice, and this is the things I ended up getting at these Goodwills. We went to a couple, but there was nothing. But at these Goodwills, I ended up finding stuff. So at this Goodwill, I ended up finding this right here is the size double XL. 399 is what I paid for it, guys. There it is, and it is on the gilding right there, guys. Check out the graphics. This is a nice piece right here, guys. Do not know if I will be letting this go, but if I do let this go, I'm easily selling this for about $35 to $30 just for this piece right here. We ended up finding these uh, like beer tap uh, things. I know you guys seen it on the video. We bought all of them. I think about total was about $80 to $70 for all of them. I'm definitely gonna be making some profit out of them. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Got this one right here, guys. This one right here. This one right here, I think this is like one of my favorite ones. This one right here as well. Super cool piece with this as well. Nice one right here as well. This one and this one. Samuel Adams, you already know, that's a cool one. Guys, if you know what these are, like if you know the uh, profit making out of these, just put it on the comments, let me know, cause I don't really know. And this one to be the last one, guys. That was the come ups I ended up getting for all these right here. Uh, beer tap holders guys these are super cool what am i gonna do with them i don't know but i'm gonna tell you one thing i'm gonna do with them is sell them all guys at a yard sale guys we ended up finding all of this right here for 45 dollars all this right here guys retron hd guys it's a, like an old school nes i don't know if it plays super nintendo games as well but it plays the older nes games uh this is easily going for about 40 to 50 dollars just for this here 
I'm glad it's an HDMI one as well. And it also came with this. Uh, this game right here has about, what, what does it say? 143 games in one. Guys, you can see it got Zelda and all that. I'm pretty sure it has like Super Mario and stuff like this. It's like one of those bootleg video games you buy on like Amazon and stuff. Guys, but this is like easily going for about 10 to 15 bucks just for this right here. Also got this as well in that $45 bundle. Is this right here? Uh, you already know I've sold one of these before. I've sold them close to about 40 to $50 just for this right here. This is like one of those boule ones, guys, but it's still got some pretty cool games. It literally has about 620 games, like what it says there. And some are repeats, but you know, you'll still have fun with this right here. I've sold these and I'm gonna easily try to get about 35 to $40 for this here. This right here was a pretty cool thing that I ended up getting, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna play with it first before I get rid of it, but I've never really had a VR set like this. This thing looks super cool, guys. I've watched the videos on this and how it looks and stuff like that. You guys can see what it comes with. Price tag on there, it says, uh, literally uh, was $169, was $200, guys. In the whole $45 bundle, let me open this real quick so you guys can see it. Check this out, guys. This thing is super cool. Right here, and you can play with this with the VR set. You open the VR, I'm, I'm just gonna open it real quick just so you guys can see. So this here has like a camera on the side and the buttons here, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do too much with it, but guys, asking price, I'm gonna be asking at least about a uh, hundred bucks to $80 for this here. At another yard sale, I got this right here. Older Atari, which has about 105 built-in video games in it already. Guys, this is nostalgic to a lot of people. I did not even play this right here, guys. This is not even my era. My era is like Super Nintendo and above, guys. So uh, the Super Nintendo, matter of fact, was my first console that I ever had. Uh, but check this out, guys. This easily is gonna bring in at least 40 to $35 for this here, guys. And I spent only 15 on this right here. My daughter with the score ended up getting this Stoudemire toy and we only paid five bucks, guys. This is a super cool piece. You guys can see what other players are on here when if you were to get these other collectibles right here, guys. But check it out. We got the classic Stoudemire, guys. Still in the box. This is You already know where this is going. This is going on the wall, staying in the collection, y'all. She also found this Yu-Gi-Oh bag right here, like when you uh, put candies in a bag for like a birthday. This is from 1996, Yu-Gi-Oh bags for the candy. Guys, this is super cool. Don't even know what we're gonna do with it, but we got it in the $20 bundle. Got this Chinatown market as well. Nice little piece. It's got Psychic on the back. Y'all see the tag, Chinatown right there, guys. And then also on the back right here, we got the nice big graphic, what it says right in the front. Nice little piece, guys. This is easily gonna bring in 15 to $25 for this here. What a banger in the video. Phoenix Suns vintage jacket, guys. Check it out, nice Suns in the front as well. It looks like it's leather, but it's not, but it's got like a shine to it, guys. There's the older tag as well. Guys, this right here uh, is not for sale. It is staying in the collection right here, guys. This is a nice piece right here. Go Suns, you already know. We just got the KD trade. That was probably one of the best trades we could have did. Guys, let's, let's get this championship. Let's get this chip in. Fit check, you already know guys, I got this older Looney Tunes T right here. I don't remember what this guy's name is, but he's that big fuzzy like monster thing. And I just thought it was pretty sick. Nothing to the back guys. And we got the uh, Kenworth uh, vintage snapback hat. Nice look to it, got the stripes to it. Guys, nothing much going crazy today guys. I did have the Panda Dunks, the house shoes at the crib. And I, right now I'm just rocking these Lacoste. These are like one of the ones that I always have on just in case I got to sling it at somebody. Fit check of the week. As I know you guys also seen in the videos, I ended up finding this massage table. It was $49.99 with the 25% discount. That brings the price down. You already know I'm horrible at math. So you guys do the math. But guys, it is an incredible steal, guys. We can easily see ourselves selling it for about $100 to $150. I will show you guys real quick with the table laid out just so you can see how it looks. It's lowered, but the legs can go higher, but I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Not too bad though, right guys? That's a nice masseuse uh, table. Guys, it's perfect condition. There's nothing really wrong with it. That is the bag right there that it goes in. About a hundred dollars is what I'll take for it. Last but not least guys, this is the best yard sale that I think I went to the whole entire thing guys. 
and it will show you why. You probably see it in the thumbnail somewhere around here uh, on why this was the best yard sale, guys. So started off on the disc, guys. I got this Doors, uh, the Doors uh, DVD special right here. It's like a two disc uh, set. Guys, you already know I have one of these, but I can easily see myself selling this one at least for about a good 15 bucks to $10 just for this here. Classic VHS tape, Rattle and Hum. This is old school right here, guys. I've never seen a VHS like on like band stuff. So this was super cool to pick up, guys. And uh, you know, I was not gonna leave it behind. Super cool horror one. This is the horror one. I got the evil, uh, the evil dead. And I think it's like a HBO Canon video one. So it might be like a special edition. They had like Jackie Chan ones. I know you guys see it in the videos, but I, I was, I was not really trying to go crazy on it. I saw this horror one and was definitely into it. So they had a dollar uh, uh, clothing on the ground guys. That wasn't their main sale. Their main sale was selling like those hand lotions and stuff like that you guys see me in the video in the picking some of that stuff up this stuff right here was uh the dollar pile this right here surf style nice piece right here guys one size fits all i already have one of these but i don't have it with the hood so who knows if i'm going to be letting this go the season is almost over for the hoodies and stuff like that but guys i might rock this before i even let it go but easily making about 35 dollars to 40 dollars just for this piece right here also this right here nice cool like that 70s show style like uh flannel you can rock here's the older tag right there as well so you guys can see it guys i asked the guy is this like your old clothing that you had and he was like yeah we had a box of clothes and i figured i'd just bring the stuff out that right there i could easily see myself making a good uh 20 to 15 dollars just for that flannel there got this fender tee right here Nice little fender tee. Don't know if it's too old, but it's a nice piece and it's got a tag on there. So you know it's at least the 2000s. I could sell this at least for 10 to 15, or at least I'll take 10 bucks for it right there. This is a super classic piece to me right here. This is at least early 2000s, guys. Check out that piece right there. You already know, nice little piece, nice fade to it. Got a nice crown on the back as well, guys. I can easily see myself making about 10 bucks just for this, or at least $15. Clean Diamondbacks tee right here. It is on the older Fruit of Loom. Nice little Diamondbacks uh, rattlesnake wrapped around the Arizona Diamondbacks symbol. It's a size large. Easily bringing in at least $25 to $15 just for this here. Cool Bob Marley piece right here. Double XL. It is a newer one. It's a Zion one. But check out the graphics, guys. Nice little piece. I can see somebody wanting this. That is legendary Bob Marley on there. Like it says there, guys. I can easily bring in at least $15 to $20 just for this piece here. Last but not least, guys, this is the best piece that I feel like I have picked up in a very long time. And I'm glad you guys waited to the end of the video, even though you probably were just skimming through the video to see where he's gonna be showing that t-shirt. And guess what, guys? It's gonna be right at the end of the video. There is the Grateful Dead tee right here. I believe it's 1990s. I I'm not too sure, I can't really read it. But guys, this guy had this in the pile right there. I wish he had more clothes, guys, because I would have definitely found some more pieces. But check this out, guys. The fade and everything is super crazy to this, guys. I'm going to just keep wrapping this around so you guys can see it. Here's the liquid blue tag right there, guys. People find things like these still at the bins, and it's just like digging through the gold to find diamonds. And guess what, guys? I found the diamond at a yard sale, guys. It is a single stitch right here, guys. I would not be selling this here. It stays in the collection. Guys, like it goes back to the beginning of my videos, guys. It's not all about the money. It's about me doing my collection and finding stuff that I know I can resell and make some money so I can go out there looking for more of my collection stuff, guys. This is why I do it. I go out there in the hunt and I look for these things. But I could easily see myself making at least $200 to $250 just for this t-shirt right here, guys. This is the end of the video, guys. I appreciate you guys following me all the way through this whole entire adventure. Shout out to everybody who is still watching. Shout out to my boys, the People's Champion. Shout out to Anima Vestra. Shout out to everybody who does this reselling stuff. Shout out to Fire Benz. Shout out to everybody, the part-time picker and everybody out there that's doing this stuff. Art the reseller. You guys motivate me to do these videos, guys. Like I said before, hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys want to see more of this content, this is your boy, ET Got Vintage, and I'm out. Thank you